Hello everyone and welcome to Tech with NK. In this video, I'm going to propose a solution to the exercise Adieu Adieu from CS50's Introduction to Programming with Python. I'm going to show you how I went about solving this exercise. However, my aim is just to provide you with a few tips or hints that you could use to solve this exercise later on. That said, let's look at the exercise to see what's expected from us. So there's a lot written in this, but we're just going to go to what's important. In this exercise, we're expected to create a Python file, we'll call it adzio.py, and implement a program that prompts the user for names, one per line, until the user inputs control D to put an end to the program. We are supposed to assume the user will enter at least one name and bid adieu to those names, separating two names with one and, three names with two commas and one and, and n names with n minus one commas and one and. So what does this look like? Let's say the user enters one name, that's Liel. I hope that's how it's pronounced. We are supposed to output adieu, adieu, to Liel. If the user enters two names, let's say Liel and Friedrich, we are supposed to output adieu adieu to Liel and Friedrich, and so on and so forth. If we have these many names, Friedrich, Luisa, Kurt, Brigitta, Martha, and Greth, we are supposed to output them in this format. We've been given the hint that will be very critical to make this exercise as easy as possible. So we've been told to use the module inflect to solve this problem, install it using a pip install inflect. And to understand the way this module works, we've been directed to the Python package for this module. However, there's just one function or just one method that we need to make this work for us. And this is what the page looks like. There are a lot of functions in this, but I'm just going to scroll to the function join, as we see here, or just keep scrolling. And here it is, join words into a list. So this is an example of how to use this function. Passing the tuple apple, banana, and carrot to the function join, this is what we get. Apple, comma, banana, comma, and carrot. And this is exactly what we need to solve this exercise. In this example, we see that they used a tuple, as we see with this parenthesis. However, to solve this, I'm just going to use a list. And regardless, all we need to do is to use an iterable, be it a tuple, be it a list, it's still going to work just fine. So I'm going to go ahead to open VS Code and show you how to do this. In VS Code, we'll start by installing the package inflect. I'm going to say pip install inflect. And our installation is successful. I'm going to create a directory using the make there command. I'm going to call it adieu. And I just noticed I spelled this wrongly. However, that's not a problem. You could always correct this spelling on your own. I'm going to cd to whatever I spelled here. Then I'm going to create the Python file adieu.py. I'm going to say code this time around or make sure to get it right, adieu.py. And as we can see, a Python file has been created for us. I'm going to go ahead and close this terminal. I'll start by saving this. Then I'm going to import the inflect module. I'll just say import inflect. In this line, I'm going to create an inflect object. I'm just going to call it p for no good reason. And I'm going to say inflect.engine with parentheses here. I actually took this syntax from the website. I forgot to show you that, but it's clearly written up in the website there. If you just open it, you're going to see it again. So this is how we create the object. We just say inflect.engine. And with this object created, I'm going to initialize a list. I'm going to say names. This is going to be an empty list because I intend to use it to save the names that the user is going to pass as input. Then I'm going to start my loop or say while true because I want this to keep running until the point where the user wants to end this using control D or control Z on Windows. So while true, we're going to try to get input from the user because this is actually going to fail when the user will enter control D or control Z. And we're going to use an except block to catch that error. So what are we trying to do? We're trying to append the names that the user is going to enter to our list. And to get the input from the user, we're going to use the input function. And I'm going to pass a string to it 
or just say name or put a colon here and a space to give the user some space to work and so this line of code is just going to keep getting input from the user prompting the user to enter a name you keep entering and entering and entering and when the user is done entering he's going to enter control z or control z on windows and when the user does that this is going to result in an error specifically an end of file error and we're going to use the except block to catch that error and at this level i'll just type except end of file error we're going to print as an f string adieu comma adieu nope adieu yep with another comma here two i'm going to use curly braces at this point and i'm just going to say p the join like we saw in the website and i'm going to pass the names to it p dot join names and that's it we're just going to print a new line i'm going to use a backslash n then we're going to break out of this loop and that's it for this code i'm going to go ahead and save this or open up my terminal we'll clear this and we're going to test our code together we're going to run python of adieu.py we've been prompted to enter a name let's say nk uh what other name james oh jim okay sandra and what else uh let's say joe then control z on windows and we have adieu adieu to nk jim sorry about that <laughs> sandra and joe and as we can see our code works just fine and it's easy to understand however if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments section below and I'll be more than pleased to answer you. Thank you for following up to the end of this video. If you loved it, do well to hit the like and subscribe buttons so as to support the channel. I look forward to seeing you in my upcoming videos. That said, have a good day.